Did you know that on average, a person speaks 7,000 words a day and teenagers send 70 texts a day? There's lots of communication, but our communication can be ineffective. Consequences of ineffective communication are misunderstandings, missed opportunities, and conflict. Here's an example of ineffective communication. Oh, hey, uh, what's up? Uh, yeah, you look uh, good today. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, like I look good today and look bad on every other day? I'm gonna give them that same energy. Thanks. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, so you know that thing that you want us to do? Like, uh, are you ready to like do that? Or like, yeah, what's going on? First they're talking about how I look. Now they're saying I'm not ready or something. Like, you know what? Maybe I'm not feeling this anymore and I really don't wanna go. You know what? I really don't feel like I wanna go anymore. I'm okay. What? I mean, like, I thought you wanted to go, but like, I guess if you don't want to go, like, I guess that's okay. Like, we'll just like not do it, I guess. I guess not. Oh, I guess uh, not. okay. As you just saw, effective communication is important and communication has two parts, listening and talking. How do we demonstrate that we are listening? We can show someone we are listening by looking at that person and making eye contact, nodding our head, asking questions and repeating what they said. Body language is also very important. Your posture and expressions can let others know you are listening. How do we communicate effectively? Tone of voice is very important. Your tone, your tone can influence the way listeners react and can increase or decrease your chances of receiving a helpful response. We can also make requests instead of statements. For example, instead of saying, move, you're in my seat, we can say, can you please move out of my seat so I can sit down? Also, effective communicators are polite. Remember to say please, thank you, and you're welcome. To sum things up, I think eye contact is very important. And what you guys seen in the video of the skit, you see that there was a lack of eye contact, right? And so sometimes when people aren't giving you that eye, that eye contact, it feels as if they're saying things that they don't really mean. And so what we can do is to increase eye contact, put down the phone, because you also have the phone up too, put the phone down and really say things with a passion as you feel them as well. Because it's not so much how, what we say, but how we say them as well. Yeah, and kind of some tips for like people that are bad listeners. Uh, if you're a bad listener, you might get in situations where like people get mad at you and you don't really understand why. Um, so yeah, to reinforce that point, um, when you're communicating, really give the person your full attention. Um, it shows that you're giving them respect and you're also able to pick up on different cues. Like you can see how their body posture is or you can see their facial reactions and you can kind of like see where the <laughs> conversation is getting off the rails before it really gets off the rails. And yeah, if you put all these things together, that's how we actually communicate.